Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is happening towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know? And ready for you to know this is for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what's coming towards you in love, career, money, and the general situationship, okay? Thank you so much, guys, for your support. Thank you so much, guys, for coming back. Please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe. And also, please don't forget to follow me um, with um, my other channel. I've got a main channel. The name of the channel is Sunshine. Please also follow me there, okay? So let us see what is coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided? Um, ooh, you have an Ace of Pentacles. Okay, let us see. Let's look into money, career, and love. You have the Death card. Mm, this is really interesting, Scorpio. What can I get for the Scorpio sign? See, a 10. Oh my gosh, let's see. Ooh, a 10 again. I told you guys, this is really, really exciting. There you go, the 8. The star card, healing. You know, it looks like a romantic energy. Okay, seven of cups and a four of wands. But don't worry, I will still do an extra 24 hours reading in the main channel. So if you want, you know, to channel in creative business inspiration, I'm going to be doing it in the other channel. Um, it looks like a love reading or a relationship reading, but let's see. Let's see. Um, so what's coming towards you is an ace of pentacles. I would say... You are ignoring this. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, you know what? They're they're finding their way back to you, Scorpio. I'm seeing a person really building a bridge to be with you, okay? Um, you have an offer and it's coming from the past. It means that this is a person or a situation that is very familiar with you. It could be the first time that they're saying this or doing this, or it could be a re-offer, but the, they're building it, okay? This is their offer, and they're holding the Ace of Pentacles delicately, you know? They're holding the offer to you slowly, okay? This is how they're moving, and you know why? If you look at the Ace of Pentacles, they don't want to drop the Ace of Pentacles because it's muddy. Okay, look at look at where they're going to drop the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it's brown, it's muddy, and they don't want to ruin what they're offering you. They're slowly coming towards you. You know what? I'm kind of picking up the vibe that this is there's no this is not a road. Okay, this is something that they man made. So someone out there is building something just for you, especially for you, Scorpio. I should write it down, especially for you. The thing is, look at that. They're building something out of, not out of the blue, but they really work hard for this one. They're building something especially for you, Scorpio. There was a huge gap in a connection, in a situation, in a relationship. They're going to move that huge gap and close that gap and build the bridge for you. They made this one because this is like a, all like this is this is how it looks. OK, my, my intuition is quite visual today, but they have to claw and dig that in this brick, you know, so they can be with you. Someone is building something specially for you. And it's coming from the past. And the reason why I'm saying that it's coming from the past. Because the death card. Like you have no idea that they are building this offer for you. It could be a company. It feels like it's something romantic. It might be personal. 
it could also be connected to finance or career because it could it is coming from someone who they love you they're impressed with you they want to be with you so they're going to create a position for you so technically if this is like a company because we like you scorpio we're going to create this position just for you to keep you if this is romance or a friend a lover they're going to create this for you they're creating something for you scorpio you are very 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 and very and so very very special yeah look at that you are such a special person in this person's life you're very special to them scorpio this is the this is the offer this is the actual message knight of cups they're moving okay this offer is moving this per this this offer this energy this person this situation is moving it could be after the full moon this could be a full moon reading yeah because look at look at the um look at the night it is moving you know it's moving and it's actually saying goodbye to somebody to someone so out with the old in with the new and back to you scorpio back into you and i feel like you know what this knight of cups they have fought a battle to be with you like they've defended you the way i feel the ace of pentacles it's quite heavy it means that it has so much value if for example if someone is going to give you a gold that gold is more than what it looks like like this ace of pentacles in here it's it's made from love it's made from an energy where they have to really defend you or fight for you or they have to work hard to build the ace of pentacles like it's not easy but they build it for you like my my intuition is telling you to to can you please put a stress to scorpio that this offer it was made from love it was made from a lot of element it's not an easy ace of pentacles but they're doing it for you like this is an exception the will of fortune um most especially the things that happen between the two of you you will really feel it special you will feel so special because you never thought that they're doing or working something in the background for you you never thought that like this is how much you mean to them for them to do this just for you scorpio yeah the king of swords it feels like you have moved on or it feels like it will caught you off guard this offer or situation it will caught you off guard somehow you have somehow you have disconnected to them or you're not expecting so much i would say you you're manifesting you're thinking about it but not so heavily versus in the past somehow you're starting to disconnect or detach from that idea but then here they are with you know it's a feeling of it looks small but you open it, it it's like a you know someone give you a, it's a big gift but the value is only ten dollars and then there's someone that's all giving you this small box but it's actually a diamond you know yeah it's like that because the external energy look at that it has a lot of value it comes from the past and it's a ten of cups look at that you might feel once this energy or person or situation unfolds into your reality once they have approached you once once this offer or situation or person or energy joins you from now up until the next 30 days um there is a feeling that you suspect some sort of oh that's a recycle oh it's you again something like that okay you have a preloaded judgment to them like oh it's you again okay what do you want here we go again you've got this angst or some a bit of spite or sarcasm because here you go again but then something tells me that 
there's something in the message or I would say your guide. I would say, I would say a special envoy, a special guide will whisper into you and tell you, hey, Scorpio, look at it again. Like something tells me you're about to dismiss it. Like something tells me you're about to dismiss until the universe send a special envoy to whisper in your ears and tell you, hey, Scorpio, don't dismiss it. There's something special in this. Open it. Explore it. Because what's waiting for you is a Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups. Not only it has a lot of value, it has a lot of money. There's also a lot of happiness and power in here, Scorpio. I mean, look at that. How often do we get a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles? This is like money and power. This is like abundance and love. This is an expansion. This is not just a love offer. This is like marriage, you know. What they are offering you is both going to expand your money or ex or bring a lot of abundance in your life and also brings a lot of happiness. So if this is like a romantic person, it's not only romantic, but they're also very powerful to be with. They've got some money and stability. So it's just like, mm, wow, this is really great. The offer is not only solid, it's a diamond. It's not just gold. It's a diamond. And it's going to make you happy. Not only it looks ex you know, it looks expensive. It also really makes you happy to your core. Like something tells me that once you realize the value, the offer, like you would be so glad you look at it one more time. Scorpio. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is you. This is you looking at it carefully slowly when you look at it your feelings comes out your feelings of excitement come out it's very soon worthy if this is a person it's very romantic soon worthy and you look at it with love look at you look at the look at the way you look at you, you the way you look at the, the the cup in here the queen of cups you can't believe that they're actually saying it to you. Like something tells me once they say it, they express it. Once you see the message, the email, there's a part of you that I can't believe you're actually telling it to me now. You're caught off guard by this offer, by this situation. Yeah, the death card again. Oh my gosh. Something tells me, Scorpio, that as soon as you connected or reconnected or... As soon as communication, messages, as soon as more information is revealed from this person or from this situation, the more you feel safe. Because the death card in here, it feels like um, it represents the more you talk to them, the more you communicate with them, the more information will be revealed. The more information will be revealed and the more you're comfortable and the more you will dismiss suspicion. Because this death card in here, this is you dismissing suspicion, dismissing untrustfulness. Like the more you will dismiss your suspicion, your the more it will dispel the bad vibe. Because the eight of pentacles in here, let's see. Yeah, the eight of pentacles again. Oh my gosh, if you don't believe me, I don't know what else to say. But this is the eight and this is the eight of pentacles again. Because somehow this situation or person, somehow they're aware that you would suspect you would have some sort of hesitation. You would have some sort of doubt or hesitation or suspicion towards them. And that's why the Eight of Pentacles serves as the proof that I will erase your hesitation I will erase your suspicion, Scorpio. I will continue to update you. I will be consistent. We will continue to tell you the truth. I will continue to communicate with you and tell you the information, the details. Like something tells me this person will explain the background of everything. 
they won't just give you an offer. They won't just give you the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. I mean, it's great. But they will also explain the root of why you had the Ten and you have the Ten. So not only, like, this is a reading where, oh my gosh, you know, like you feel so happy about the offer. At some point, you can't believe that you have it. And they will even justify why you deserve the offer, Scorpio. You feel love, the star card. Once they reveal what they've gone through to prepare the offer, or once they've revealed to you the information, the details that they went through to prepare it, or the background story of how they have come up with this offer, you will be very, very happy and at the same time grateful. And it's really all worth it with a star card seven of cups and this is you and the situation and the offer full reconciliation a passionate beginning you're overwhelmed seven of cups is like i'm overwhelmed like this is something in this reading where you know it, it, it's a reading where it was just recently you break up now you're all over again with each other it was just recently that things are so worse and you're back into each other's arms, like 360 degree turn of event in here. And the way I feel this reading, it's very justified result. Like it's very worth giving it a chance or worth looking into it because there is a lot of backup or it's they will provide the details to make you feel secure. They will provide you all of the necessary emotions. They will provide you with information that you will feel emotionally secure, that you will feel confident, that you will feel like this is really is for me. And it's worth taking and waiting because it's a 10 out of 10 in here. Like your, your, your fate will restore to this company or to this person. Like you would really say to yourself, love wins or the goodness that you do in the world, it really wins or good karma. I would say like good stuff really wins, you know, or the universe really looking after you. You are love Scorpio. Do you know that? This is something like, I'm so grateful. Like this is something like will wake you up and will tell you that, okay, sunshine, you are correct. There is good thing. There is bad things. There's also good things. You know, like life is good and bad. But you celebrate the, the good stuff. This is a good stuff. This is very, very good. Swoon worthy, Scorpio. There you go. Another thing. If you do not believe me, I don't know what else to say. A perfect ten. You're perfect ten. You're perfect ten, Scorpio. So peaceful, so peaceful. Like your, like it's a fleeting joy. Like your soul is happy, Scorpio. So this is your reading. I can feel so much peace. Then, then, then. Thank you, dear Scorpio. Thank you for connecting with me. Thank you for being here. It's so peaceful, so peaceful. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.